actually a shift away from more extensive axillary lymph node uh, surgery for patients with minimal or no involvement of these sentinel lymph nodes. Um, little or nothing is known about the relative benefit or harm of axillary radiotherapy uh, as opposed to further surgical lymph node dissection in managing patients with a positive sentinel lymph node. And this morning, uh, Dr. Emil Rutgers of the Netherlands Cancer Institute will share with us the results uh, from the AMARO study to uh, illuminate us on this subject. Thank you, Dr. Seidman. Yes, it's indeed a great pleasure for me as an European to stand here for you to, uh, to explain you the, this European trial uh, on behalf of my colleagues. Uh, I'm uh, Emil Rutgers and I'm a surgical oncologist at the Netherlands Cancer Institute and devoted already 32 years particularly to breast cancer uh, treatment improvement, primary breast cancer. Um, the background of this study, oh, no, the other way around, um, breast cancer can spread to the lymph nodes, we all know that, and um, it's deemed to be uh, very important to treat those lymph nodes early for two reasons. Um, the, um, an optimal regional control of the cancer and to provide prognostic information of the biological behavior of the breast cancer. For years now, the, the, the identification of lymph node metastasis is done through the sentinel node lymph node, the sentinel lymph node procedure where at the tumor site a tracer is injected in the breast which follows the lymphatic pathway where eventual cancer cells also goes to the first lymph node which is called the sentinel lymph node. These traces are uh, recognizable by, by its um, radioactivity, and uh, on the day of surgery, you can identify those nodes in the armpit, in the axilla, remove them, and examine them. If these nodes contain no metastasis, the risk of further nodal involvement in the axilla is really, really very limited, and uh, this is the reason not to treat the lymph nodes in the axilla in those patients. If the, lymph, the sentinel lymph node contains metastasis, um, usually standard of care was to do a full axillary clearance, uh, complete removal of all the lymph nodes in the armpit. Uh, indeed, there is some shift uh, last year that in, in early breast cancer you can, may, may refrain from axillary clearance in every patient. Um, when we designed this study to improve, uh, to try to improve um, the, the, or to lessen the toxicity of the primary breast cancer treatment 12 years ago, uh, axillary clearance was a dogma. That was the way to go for breast cancer treatment. So this was a randomization of patients. Um, oh, it's important to know that, that there's a lot of side effects associated with axillary lymph node dissection, particularly obstruction of the lymphatics of the arm, which will lead to so-called lymphedema, which is rather debilitating and needing um, and this making necessary uh, treatment for, for, for the whole lifespan of the patients by sleeve garments, by compression therapy and physiotherapy. Our hypothesis was that the radiotherapy to the axilla instead of axillary clearance in central node positive patients was associated with the same cancer uh, control in the armpit and less uh, toxicity, less side effects. So this was the trial design. Patients with breast cancer up to five centimeters and no palpable involved lymph nodes in the uh, axilla were randomized between axillary clearance or radiotherapy in case the central lymph node contained metastasis. Patients were randomized before treatment to uh, prevent as much as possible selection bias, and um, afterwards patients received either when the central node was positive an axillary clearance, as you can see here, or radiotherapy to the axilla. Um, Finally, th uh, almost uh, 3,400 uh, 3, patients had a, uh, a normal central node and 1,400 had cancer spread in the lymph nodes and they, uh, 744 patients received surgery and uh, almost 700 radiotherapy. Um, my, my most important contribution to this trial is finding the acronym after mapping of the axilla radiotherapy or surgery and if you are a bit aware of the Italian language, amaros means kind of bitter. For us, it's bitter, if you translate. For us, it's a sweet trial, I can tell you. So um, the results, first and for all, the risk of relapse in the axilla in both groups was extremely low. At five years of follow-up, 
there were four in the surgery arm, four patients who experienced relapse in the axilla, and seven in the radiotherapy group. And this was far less than anticipated by our statisticians and by ourselves 12 years ago. So that's, that's the positive news. Um, on the other hand, if we look at the side effects, that lymph edema associated problems was twice as much in those patients who received um, complete x-ray removal, surgical removal of the lymph nodes. And these problems were treatment for lymphedema by garments, physiotherapy, or compression therapy, or um, visible lymphedema by physical examination. And this difference was 28%, one in four, more than one in four in patients after x-ray clearance, and 14% after radiotherapy. Uh, interestingly enough, this trans didn't translate in a, a difference in, in quality of life, which was measured at one, three, and five years as well. Um, and most likely, uh, it could be that the questionnaires we used for the quality of life didn't account too good for the problems associated with lymphedema. And there was, uh, we measured the shoulder movement in all patients at one year, three year, and five years, and at one year there was some trend of impairment of shoulder function in those patients who received radiotherapy, but it, this was completely disappeared after three and five years. So this trial shows that if treatment of the axillary lymph nodes in breast cancer is deemed necessary due to larger tumor size and uh, central lymph node involvement, radiotherapy to the axilla is uh, um, a good alternative, maybe a better alter for us a better alternative as compared to surgery uh, because it's associated with less side effects and it has an extremely good regional cancer control. Thank you.